Before you move into a new office, physical or virtual, it's helpful to do a walkthrough. In this video, I'll give you a tour through an office on Gather and share examples of what a day in a virtual office actually looks like. Let's get started. At the front is the lobby. This is where people will first enter your office when you invite them as members or guests. As you enter, you'll step into a hallway, which are actually really important in Gather because they create natural pathways where you can bump into people. Our templates intentionally keep a small amount of space in between desks and meeting areas to give you more chances to just run into people and have those unplanned conversations. Speaking of desks, you'll notice they're grouped into pods. Most teams on Gather prefer to have people sit in a pod next to other members of their department or close to stakeholders that they commonly work with. With Gather, you can actually see when someone is in the middle of a different conversation or in a meeting that's running late. It's this visibility into your team that's really difficult to get from other work tools, but is part of why distributed teams love working in Gather. When it is time for a scheduled meeting, there are private areas throughout the office so you can hold one-on-ones, team meetings, or even all company all hands. You can even create different types of meeting areas using objects and gather. For example, this kitchen area up here might be used as your informal break room. It'll feel natural since it looks like a place where you just strike up random conversation with anyone else who's grabbing a snack. This formal meeting room behind a closed door, however, is probably better suited for the weekly leadership meeting. The door can even help communicate that this is a formal meeting and it needs to be on your calendar before you just wander in. By bringing back in-person visual cues, you can really start to enhance the way that your distributed team collaborates. This completes our office tour. I hope it gives you an idea of how you can actually use your space. As your team moves in, it'll only become more and more natural to collaborate in your virtual office.